Hey guys, welcome to a Cascade Gaming Path of Exile video. You know the rules by now. No guides, no walkthroughs, no wikis, no instructions aside from that which is given by the community, which is you. I hope you enjoy some of the gameplay from Act 3 that I completed very recently. I see that you're like, you're like, you're, you're into the just providing tips which is really good thank you all right so she's she's a little bit further than here ah we've got a waypoint and we've got a thing okay let's grab that waypoint and we have to go back to to stupid captain fairgraves who's definitely going to betray me again i know i know that he's going to betray me again okay I am the nightmare. Whoa, hello. Okay, these guys popping up. So much more preferable to when I was doing levels and spiders were just popping up from the sides of everywhere. I did not like that. Um, if, if you want to see something amusing, you should check out my youtube where i went into the the weaver's cave because i may or may not have had a major freak out when it dropped down from the ceiling and when i say may or may not have what i mean is i i definitely i definitely freaked out when it dropped down from the ceiling oh another colossal another colossal mana flask nice let's grab that is this the right direction? I don't know. Let's just, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep exploring. There's so many corpses and bits and pieces. Yeah, spiders really gross. I'm like stupidly arachnophobic, which does not work well living in Australia because we get spiders and we get big spiders. So, not exaggerating to say that we used to get, like, dinner plate-sized spiders in our house on the regular. I was not happy about that. It used to, used to freak me out. I have been known, on occasion, to, to cry when confronted with a gigantic spider. I'm, I'm not, I'm not at all ashamed to admit that. Alright, I need to like check these flasks and upgrade these flasks because I keep getting colossal flasks. These guys are like so creepy. They're like sort of humanoid but not really. Looks like a human was was fused with like a siren or something. I don't know, but the dudes are creepy. Let's pick that up. Um, oh, what did I get? Ah, oh, I can upgrade clarity and vitality. Nice. All right, let's keep, all right, so this is not the way. Oh, look, she's got like corpses everywhere. They don't phase you much anymore. Yeah, I just, I just, I just can't, I just can't deal with them. They like, they scare me so much. Like, Give me, give me a snake, give me, like, anything like that, any day, over, over a spider. Um, I had a cat, and we... <laughs> yeah, no, mine's more like, freak out, go and yell to someone to come and, and squish it. It's like, if a spider's outside... Okay, do your thing, go live your life, live your, live your best life, just don't come inside my house. Oh, spicy. Um, but yeah, if it's inside, it's like, it's like, no, the, the deal's off, the deal's off. The deal where I said that, you know, everyone can, can live their own life and, and do their own thing. It's, it's not happening if you're, if you're inside my house. 
nice some scrolls she has to be down here somewhere like there's there are too many creepy things and like it seems like she would want to hang around like prisons where she where she's got her, her creepy creations um yeah, I had a, a cat who went into our garage one day and he herded a giant uh, a giant bearded dragon out to me in the lounge room. He's like, look what I found. This is my friend. His name is Steve. Can we keep him? I'm like, no, buddy, we can't keep keep it. He was, ve he was a very, very gentle cat, so he would never kill anything. Um, he even caught a rat once, but he caught it by picking it up by the scruff of the neck and bringing it out to the lounge room and being like, can we keep this one? It's like, no, nobody, we, we cannot keep that one. Like he, he wouldn't, wouldn't eat like any like creepy lizards or any, like little lizards or anything like that. He was just, he was just all about finding things and being like, can it live with us? It's like, no, no. Oh, there's a portal. Shall I take the mystery portal? Of course I'm going to take the mystery portal. Oh, I accidentally double clicked on it. I'm so notorious for doing that in Diablo. Of all the worlds you could have conquered, you had to choose one. Uh, excuse me? It's freaking mine and you are gonna be toasted biatch where'd you go over here let's freaking go is that piety yes it is yes come on you are you are going to die and it's going to be at my hand blessed are the weak who are healed by my hand what rest for the wicked Suck it, bitch! Yeah, well, I mean, not exactly. Wasn't particularly fond of her work, but I also was not fond of her either. Heck, yes. Oh my god, we did it! We killed Piety. She is done! Oh, I'm so, I'm so happy right now. Uh, let's see if we can't make some space for some of this, um, this iron staff or this sun leather thingy. Maybe I'll put that there and put this here. Sun leather, iron staff, that's going to take up too many spots. Um, let me think, let me think. All right, we need to clear... So this is where this is where my Tetris this is where my Tetris skills come in handy. Can we pick it up now? Yeah, we can. I am a golden god. All right, so we've got two things to go back to the sun encampment. So let's just use a portal scroll and be super lazy. Oh, I'm so excited. Piety is down. Uh, I'm like running out of room for the flasks in this. I'm going to have to do something about selling, selling off some of these. I've got like, look at all those flasks. I'm going to have to buy um, a currency tab as well because they're starting to take up a bit of room. I'd like a currency tab and a gem tab. Let's talk to Hagen. Yes. Yeah, you would have. Chuck it in a chuck it in the floor. Yeah. I'm like, I... Okay, so this is the thing. Stay out of the shadow. I hate not picking up items. It goes like it goes so against my 
my instincts like because every other game it's just like I'm always about like picking up everything and then just like selling it to make sure that you've got currency um see I am a good person <laughs> Oh yeah, I've got the loot filter. So I got the the loot filter from Filter Blade. I I put up a, a poll to say, like, am I allowed to use a loot filter or does that break the rules? Um, but apparently it doesn't break the rules and I was allowed to use it. So that's why I've got the loot filter. I just I it's not a it's not on the strict filter kind of thing. Oh, she. You can get stuff from her. Well now. Break all the rules. I'm always breaking all the rules, kill them all. That's what I do. Oh, okay. That's that's something I'm gonna have to go and look at later. I don't wanna just um you know, just like spend like 15 minutes going through all of my crap. Oh, she fixed my camera. There we go. The executioner needs recompense. Do I get a present? Yes. <gasps> Passive skill point. Thank you. She is a puppet. Dominus. Okay. That key you've picked up. I heard the blackguards talk of it. That's interesting. To the scepter of God on the northern edge of the Blackguard encampment. Only piety was permitted to carry it. Dominus accessed okay. the laboratory at the summit of the tower via a pulley system. Pulley system. The outside wall. That way will be barred to you. And I heard of no one, not even piety, going in or coming out. Okay. Go with care, exile. Interesting. What's inside that tower if even piety and dominus feared to tread its steps? Well, I mean you're telling me about it, so I kinda wanna go and do it. Um alright, so I have to travel to the Imperial Gardens, but first I'm going to the docks to hand in the quest to Fairgraves, and he's definitely gonna backstab me and I'm gonna murder his face. Look at the sheen on that. He is a prick. It's like, I remember him from Act 1 and I hold a grudge. Um, but yeah, I'd probably need to put a more strict loot filter on. But um, I'm happy with the loot filter just as is at the moment. But we'll see. He's just gonna, he's just, he's gonna attack me in a second, I can just tell. <laughs> yeah, so I'm out of my recompense and he's probably gonna try and kill me. Like, my recompense will be bringing him back to life. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's actually giving me something. Alright, extra maximum life, extra thing. Let's try the mana one. A toast to swift endings and promising new beginnings. Alright. Hmm. I just don't trust him. Even though he's given us a reward, I don't trust him. <laughs> yes! Ah, oh, that warms my cold, dead heart. 
couldn't have happened to a more deserving person. Adds extra fire, extra cold, extra mana. I lose a little bit of attack speed. I get my mana. Do I want my life? I don't know if I want my life. Let's let's give it a whirl. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. All right, travel to the scepter of God. Off to the Imperial Gardens. Okay, so I feel like there's two paths from the Imperial Gardens, and ah, okay. So it's more it's more movement speed that I want, right? Rather as opposed to attack speed. So attack speed is more for melee then. That's good to know. Die at thirst. What? Oh, jeez. There, there are lots of baddies here. Let's get the shield pile on. Come on. Get it, get it. Heal. Run away, Cass. Run away. Run away, little girl. Run away. Oh my god. What is wrong with you? Aside from everything. Let's uh, regen a bit of mana. Phew. Well, that was unpleasant. Oh my gosh. We, we got some stuff. That's for sure. Superior death bow. I kind of want to have a look at that. Alright, so I've got to be level 33. But I think I will swap that over. I think that I think I'll swap that over for sure. I just need to I'll probably put Herald of Ash in there instead. Um, I probably need to offload these goodies anyway. Oh, well that's that's quite fantastic and I like that very much. Once I hit level 33, I can use that. So I'll put it in the stash. Uh, this is my... Oh, I've got to move my, my silly thing. This is the, the first gold item that I picked up. And I was so sad because I couldn't use it. But I'm holding on to it because I'm making uh, a ranged caster character. So... Oh, was that something that I was... Oh, that's something that I was just like, hmm, that's interesting, I'll keep it. Armageddon Brand. Okay. Now, that seems, that seems interesting as well. Armageddon Brand. All right. I will see if somebody sells that. Like I'm, I'm honestly, I'm. I will try just about anything. So, because I get, I get a lot of suggestions that, and a lot of conflicting suggestions about what I should be using. Uh, Clarissa should. Okay, let's have a look then. What is it? Magical brand which periodically activates pyro media from the sky. Alright, let's buy that. Um So that one I was oh that one I was just hanging on to. But let's give let's let's give that a go. Bye. Because honestly, I'm I'm keen to try pretty much anything. Um, oh, oh scaring! I'll just oh, I'll pop that in there. Okay. Um, was I gonna take off that I had red? Did I pick up something red and then I was just like, oh, I'm gonna transfer it. Oh, I can level up these gems. Sweet. Um, okay. 
can increase a righteous fire, smite, searing bond, purifying flame, but the support. Oh, I was totem support, wasn't it? So that doesn't do anything. Armageddon brand. Okay, so I want to put that on my bar so I can use it e more easily. Um, all right. Let's flip that over and try it. Okay, we'll give that a go because why not? All right, let's head back to the Imperial Gardens. So it's over here, the the locked door, isn't it? Um, up here somewhere. I've just got to find it. Alright. I was just using Armageddon brand then, so... need more mana. Oh, I've got skill points that I haven't put in yet. Huh. Giant life flask. I really have to sort out these life flasks. Oh, and these mana flasks. I've got so many flasks. Um. Oh. Got shield. Alright, it was it was up here somewhere, wasn't it? Slag is absolutely murdering me. Oh, you know what? I need to do the map overlay. I'm sorry if that's distracting for anyone, but I I really like having it there. Like the, the map overlay. It's very handy for me. So I can tell where I'm going and what I'm doing. Alright, up here. Nope, that's a stupid plum again. So I've gone in the wrong direction. Uh, let's go around... Mary and Pippin are on the other side of the wall. Alright, let's find, let's find this. Nice, that one dropped some goodies. Okay, so maybe it is up. Oh, Colossal Mana Flask. I didn't pick, didn't even pick that up. Okay, maybe it was north. Maybe it was this way. Yeah, I have a slight delay, but they reactivate. Oh, okay. So I can just drop them and just keep kiting. So, like, off it goes. Alright, I see that. That's cool. Um, alright. But brands are something interesting, it's not something that I've tried before. I'm always always keen to try something different. Is this the way? I feel like this might be the way. Superior Quicksilver Flask. That I want to investigate immediately. Save for the movement speed. I think I'll hold on to the ones that I have and then I'll upgrade them. With the with the thing, how you can change them. Ah, here we go. Here we go. We found it. Ascend the scepter of God. Am I, like, completely finishing Act 3? <laughs> Remember, Dominus, what goes up must come down. The 
suck. Malachi. Ooh. Ooh. I super don't trust Malachi. I think he's like the the end big bad. Zone. Oh, ding, 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 ding. Oh, and we've got two skill points. Let's let's apply our skill points. Okay, so we've got that, and then I want to go over here, and then look into critical mastery, and then down there, and then into caster mastery, and then unlock that gem socket. That's my, that's my thought process. After that, we'll consider it and think about what we need to do. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so monster fire resist, poison on here, 30% increased quantity of items found in this area. Okay. I feel like that brand takes up a lot of mana. Maybe it's just all the other stuff that I've got going on that's taking up a lot of mana. Because it's like, it's reserving like almost my entire mana pool. So I'm gonna have to have a think about all of this. Colossal Life Flask. Yes, I will take that. Because, yeah, I know that there are things that, like, reserve mana. But it seems like a lot of my mana is being reserved. So I actually... So I either need way more mana. Or I need to think about what's, what's reserving my mana so that I can make sure that I can still cast spells and do everything. That brand is pretty good. I just just saw that in action a little bit more. With it popping from enemy to enemy. Yeah, I know this I know the skitterbots are taking up a lot of my mana, but they're so handy. I don't know what I would do without my skitterbots. I love them. I'd be really sad without them. Their names are Merry and Pippin. They're part of the journey. Orb of Fusing. Nice. I needed another one of those. Um, Haste Aura. I like the idea of that. Um, let's look at the Val letter. For seven years I advised, for seven years she listened, today she would not. Now my blood will be but another drop in an ocean that will drown this land. I can't help but think he's talking about piety. Yeah, see? So I know that the skitterbots block off a whole lot, but I don't know, I love them. They're, they're so good. I would be sad without them. Hey, orb of alteration, nice. Oh, hello. Oh, I thought they would. They were going to be way tougher than they than they looked. Like ah, stairs. Yes, up we go. Okay, so this is just like the Val Pyramid, and I think we're going to fight the Act Three big <laughs> big boss. And it's taken us three and a half hours to get to this point. And we've done all the quests. It's not like we it's not like we've been stuffing around and not doing the quests. Oh. 
Oh, there's a there's a good enemy behind here. Noxious Flay. I love I love the enemy names in this game. They're not like super creative, but they're they're interesting. Like they're interesting and fun. Yes, more stairs. Up, up, up we go. Let's go this way. Scroll of wisdom, nice. Oh, hello. Oh, chimeras. That's cool. Alright, I don't think this was the right way to go. That's alright. See, look at how much the Skitterbots just help then. They, they just want to be friends. They just like hanging out. And since I can't have Ina with me like the whole time, I need to, I need to have like some sort of little, little companion. Oh, there's a waypoint. Let's go grab that. I wonder if the next level is near the waypoint. Cool. Waypoint achieved. Uh, some graffiti, maybe? Oh, a letter to Chaitis. Is that the king? The empire has lived in fear and ignorance since its inception. Our Asmiri ancestors, in their arrogance, turned their backs on the lessons of the Val. Okay. The emperors before you lacked courage. Interesting. Lacked vision. Interesting. Oh, I didn't move my thing yet. While scrambling for approval and comfort within the prison of their meager mortal lives. You okay. Is this from Malachi? You this is totally from Malachi. The man who will make this empire truly understand the meaning of the word it turns. We shall build this thing ours together, remember. Malachi pulling the strings behind like behind the scenes. Malachi is the puppet master. I don't know if I'm giving him too much credit, but it seems like whenever there's whenever there's fuckery, Malachi's involved somehow. Yes, another level. Up the stairs, up the stairs. <gasps> the upper scepter of God. Okay, so this is going to be big boss time. All right. <sighs> time to focus. Deep breaths. All right. We've got our auras on. We've got our quicksilver flasks. We've got our healing pots. We've got Herald of Ash on cue. We've got all the stuff. Okay. Kill a few enemies. Oh, it, mm, it wanted me to take that for some reason. Leaving it. Oh, there's someone that's like frozen. Oh, there's more stairs? Why are there more stairs? I thought we were already up to the top. Here I was getting psyched, getting ready. Oh! Zoomed chimeras. That's cool. So it's like it's raining up here. Okay, that's that's like that's that's pretty awesome. 
All right, my door's still closed. I can like, I can feel something tapping my leg and I'm just like, Johan? But he's not here tapping my leg. <laughs> All right, come on. Oh, let's go do this. Look at, look, these guys, these guys want to die. Like super duper. They're like, please kill me. End my suffering. For I am but a miserable child. And everything here sucks. Can I like jump over? No. Okay. Ugh. All the way around. I love that it's raining up here. It's really funky. Alright. Let's go this way. More stairs, more stairs, more stairs. No. Right. Maybe this is the way. Come on. All right, this links up. Like this, this has to give us like stairs or something like way further to the top. All right, let's open the door. Go hiss and charging Corsair. Us a fear, very nice. Oh, Bane Raker. All right, it seems like there's a lot of a big, a large concentration of big bads here. Too much oh, you know what? I don't even care. Still enough room to pick up an amulet? Yes, okay. More stairs. Wait. Is this like a big thing where I've just completely stuffed it up because I've gone the wrong way? Scion. Open the steel cage. Okay, what's this? And who have I just unleashed? Scion. Back in Orion, there were those that referred to me as the Wonder Child. But as we'd like to discover, titles mean little. Wonder, exile, monster, hero. It's not the name that defines you. Ah, okay. okay so that was an achievement yes okay this is my first time playing poe um i'm playing it as a challenge series so um not using guides walkthroughs wikis forums googling nothing um i'm only taking tips and tricks and advice from the community so i've been doing this um on youtube for about a month so this is my first stream doing it so um yeah i'm loving this game so far like if i could just spend all of my time just playing if i didn't have to worry about editing videos and whatnot i would just i'd be way further ahead <laughs> but i'm yeah i'm having the i'm having the best time Um, and it's it's really fun, honestly, doing a blind playthrough because it's um, yeah, you, you kind of get to oh, okay, rooftop. I feel like this is where we needed to go. Maybe. Did you invite the master that called you here, which? Oh. Would I? Uh, yes. 
I would. And freaking watch me. I'm the heretic. Bite me, dude. Kali the crazed. Orcus the Reva. They're all. It's mine. Just FYI. I am the true face of God. And you. Suck. And just watch you go down like a sack of crap. Where did he run off to? Did he like wuss out somewhere? Oh, jeez, okay, he's turned himself into a freaking dragon. You know what? You still suck, and I'm still better than you. This lag, this lag is just doing it. Yes! I am very pleased with myself. Oh, really? I've... Yeah, honestly, I've just been... Been taking... Taking advice from the community. Who have been, like, saying, Oh, you know, this might suit you better. Or something else might suit you better. So, um... So they've been, like, giving me tips without giving me spoilers. And kind of... Just pushing me in the direction of learning... So, yeah, I've, and I've been playing ARPGs for, like, forever, so, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's very, it's very fun. I'm, honestly, I'm having probably the most fun with this game out of, like, any game I've played in the last five years, like, without a doubt. She, this chick is so weird. <laughs> I, you cuddled death. Yes, I, I suppose you could say that. <laughs> She freaks me out. This this lady freaks me out. What teetering and twisted life it still holds dear. This land owes to you. Witch. Yeah, she's one of your favorites. She's just Yeah, she's just she's just wild. Honestly. It's like You know what she okay, so you know what she reminds me of? She's like got a Cenobite vibe. Um, my favorite, well, I love Aina, obviously, because everybody loves Aina, but I think you love her voice acting. Yeah, her voice acting is really, really is on point. Um, all right, I'm going to just, I'm going to do a teleport so I can offload, um, some of this stuff and then come back for the rest of these goodies. Um, yeah, her, her voice acting, definitely on point. Like, there's, there's some wild voice acting there. Oh my god, so many flasks. 
All right, let's go sell. Yes, so I have um, I've found two hideouts so far. Stay out of the shadows. So the one in Act Two and uh, in the cave, and that where you go and it, you accidentally cause the apocalypse, and then um, the one in the sewers I've unlocked as well. Excellent. Okay. Find the exit act for. Oh, I can't believe it! We still have a. We still have a. A labyrinth trial. To do, though. So, where is the exit act for then? I don't know. Hang on. Let me put my, my, skill, my next skill point uh, in. So, we want to go there. Um, you may now exit the top of the t okay, top of the tower you now exit the top of the scepter of god to access the aqueduct okay, we still have things to do here um, I'm just playing standard, I didn't realise that I should have been playing league I've got like another wasting, I've got a, like a killing time character oh no it says over here okay oh silly um so i've got to go get my last labyrinth trial Well, I hope you had a lot of fun with that gameplay from Act 3. I'm not going to tell you guys exactly how far I got, but I think you'll be really impressed by the time I finished editing down everything that I did on this stream. Anyway, I hope you guys will tune in for some more, and I love you guys heaps, and I'll catch you again really soon. Bye for now.